Well, hello there. Um, I haven't been here for a while and my sudden comeback is thanks to Gothic Beauty magazine because they asked me to unbox one of their subscription boxes. Um, I also already got the last one because I gave an interview with this issue here. You might have seen it. I, got, I gave an interview uh, about Nyctophilia Shop, which is a really lovely long article, actually. Um, I, I posted this on Instagram already. Um, it's pretty long and if you can still get your hands on this issue or if you have it and you haven't read the interview, um, go ahead and read it if you want to see what that's about. But um, in this video, I'm going to show you the next one, or I think it's the, the one after that actually. This is the box and I'm opening it now <laughs> with you. Uh, I've already opened the box actually, but I haven't taken out any of the items, so this is a surprise for me as well. Um, this is the nice little list of what um, items are inside and here is the magazine and now before we start taking out any of the things that are in here I want to talk a little bit about Gothic Beauty magazine also so I have known Gothic Beauty magazine for quite a while now and have read several issues in the past decade or so and so I was very happy they asked me for this interview um, Thank you very much, Gothic Beauty Magazine. And now they've asked me to unbox this box, so let's do this. In this issue, actually, uh, there's a quite a good interview with Liberon Hanover, which I haven't read yet, but I'm looking forward to do so. And also, um, there seems to be something about the Cold Hearted Festival, which I probably will attend this year again. Seems promising. I haven't I haven't checked this out yet. We're we're just unboxing the box, so. One thing that's cute about this is that it always has, like in the last couple of issues, it always had like an emphasis on social media and people unboxing the subscription box and, and reading the magazine, which is very cute. I know a lot of these people, <laughs> it's, which is always fun to find people you, you know um, in these actual print magazines. Let's see what's in the box though. Gothic Beauty Box 55. I'm just going to take out something which already sticks out. It seems to be ooh, like a co cookie cutter thing. Ginger Dead Mold from Castle Merc. Make spooky gingerbread cookies all year round. Roll out cookie dough cut with side one of mold. So this is side one. Imprint skeleton with side, ah, with side two. That makes sense. Cool. Well, thank you very much. What's this? We got some lip service stickers, legend brand, obviously. And this is a really, really, really cool one with the coffin. Nice. We also got what is, seems to be an enamel pin. This looks nice. It says here it's special Gothic Beauty enamel pin from Strangeling by internationally renowned artist Jasmine Beckett Griffith. This exclusive collab is only available to Gothic Beauty Box subscribers and supporters of Jasmine's Patreon at the top secret Strangeling tier. So this is very rare. You get, you always get these very um, sweet little, like from small business, small designers, small brands stuff in these boxes, which is very cute. Oh, and like this is, this has a theme, like there's an Ankh necklace, very, 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 very nice. I love the Ankh as a symbol. I, if you, if you know, you know, I did a video about the Ankh symbol, which stands for life and eternal life and life after death and also life power. There's a knot in the, no, sweet, a black chain necklace with a black Ankh. Very goth, very goth. Ankh necklace chain from Eerie Baubles. Okay, Eerie Baubles is the brand. Clashes, clash? It clashes a bit with my upside down and very cross here. 
there's a gothic beauty sticker also a different one than the last time nice and what's this looks like maybe gloves spider web gloves let's see i love spider web and mesh oh. yes it's gloves nice oh that's a good one and they, it's like the fingers are open so you can wear all your favorite rings that still will still fit on your fingers because with gloves it's, as much as I like wearing gloves, if you if they have fingers on them, one you can't use your phone and the other is you can't wear your rings. This is nice. Like, okay, it doesn't really go with this right now, but you get the idea. Nice. Very useful. Very useful. But good accessories make an outfit. And we have a couple of more products among the purple worms and this says it is a soft black mag soft black makeup blender vegan and latex free so like a beauty blender i guess yeah nice always need those right from lashy doodle oh who are the gloves from let's see so the gloves were from Fingerless Black Spiderweb Stretch Lace Gloves from Charlotte's Veil. Check them out for shadow attire and gothic accessories for the darkly inclined. Okay, two more. Th oh no, a lot more than two things uh, are left in the box. Let's pick this one. All these little small boxes are also nice. Sometimes I actually reuse them for things or just put them in a shelf when they have a, like a nice design. So, what's it? oh, oh, I think it's a dark asteroid, pretty ghostly foundation and lightening potion. So this is actually a white foundation, I guess. Full size ghostly foundation and lightening potion by dark asteroid pretty. Suitable to be used as a very white foundation or mixed with compatible foundations to lighten a more to lighten to a more subtle ghostly goth pallor. Okay, great. I'm I'm gonna try it, I guess. Oh, this is very white. And I didn't like this was only like a very small bit and I ah, I need to wash this off now. Okay, seems to be matte as well. Goes on quite evenly. Okay, let me, well, I need to wash my hands, I'm sorry. So uh, I can say something about the quality already because it was pretty hard to get off. So um, I guess it will be long lasting. <laughs> I use foundation like six times a week, so always useful. Oh, this is nice. The last box had an, an, um, an oil as well. Um, this is an essential oil blend, like a nice smelling one. And the last one I, I have was orange and clove and I use it all the time. It's very, very nice. It smells like, like Christmas, Christmas somehow. I don't know. I liked it very much. And this one is Spooky Spirits Midnight Cherry Vanilla. Oh, yeah, it's an artificial cherry smell. <laughs> oh, it, it changes when you put it on the skin as always. Very much like um, cherry candy. Oh, okay. I think this might be a little too fruity for me. I guess if I don't want to wear it, I'm, I'll find a person who likes this scent. It is nice. It's just I wear very heavy, sweet and like dark scents usually. And this is very fruity, so not quite my taste, I think. Purple Worms, show me two more little small boxes. And this seems familiar too. It's also Lashy Doodle. And with the other box, I had one of these as well which is an eyeliner but it also has like a stamp on the on the one side and the last one i had was a little spiderweb stamp which was very cute this one is 
a little hard. God, I hope I get this right. <gasps> oh no, it did a, it made a line. Okay, I need to, I need to correct that. Cute. It gives like Emily Autumn vibes with the little heart underneath the eye. I did that when I was a teenager. And also the eyeliner part is very nice. I used that on the other one before. The last purple worm item from the Gothic Beauty magazine box is another liquid eyeliner. Wow, yeah, okay. I go through them a lot, so it doesn't hurt to have one more. Oh, it's a brush eyeliner. That's nice. I use brush eyeliners usually with that little pointer brush. Oh, it smells nice. I don't know. Oh, oh. Well, I don't know if it smells nice, but it smells somehow. Maybe I mix it with my chair. Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Forget what I said. Deepest Black Liquid Eyeliner by Stormcloud. Okay. Lots of things actually this time. I don't remember if it's always. I mean, it must be, but it seems lots of products. Great. My favorite will be the gloves. I'm sure I'm gonna use them. I love spiderweb mesh design stuff and these are great. But I'm also gonna try out all the cosmetic stuff because, you know, I wear makeup almost every day. And also, obviously, one of the favorite things in the box is the magazine itself. I really enjoy reading like old-fashioned print magazines sometimes. Not a lot, but you know, I don't have to have a new one every week. It's uh, you can read this over time, and especially this is a very aesthetic magazine. Like the Gothic Beauty magazine always has lots of lots of good quality, pretty images, like lots of lots of pretty images, and um, nice articles about people that you know from the internet, <laughs> which is great. Oh yeah, there were these socks in the box last time, I remember. The magazine, the cookie cutter, lots of stickers, an eyeliner, a stamp eyeliner, a beauty blender, white foundation, essential oil, and a cute enamel pin, which is Lots of things. Cool. This is so cool. So maybe I'm going to be a little bit more active on YouTube again now. I've broken the ice sort of for the season. You are sure to get um, festival vlogs from me this year. I plan to go to Vigete, to Ampi Festival and to Meruluna Festival. So hopefully and also to Cold Hearted Festival. So hopefully four nice festival vlogs this year. Um, I'm not sure if I'm manage if I'll manage to do more than that but I hope so <laughs> maybe I'm motivated now um let's see tell me in the comments which was your favorite item have you read gothic beauty magazine before have you gotten the box before and would you like to see more videos <laughs> whatever tell me in the comments and um, let me know what you think see you soon in another video bye bye Um, quick aside, I just, after filming this video, I just put this Gothic Beauty Magazine sticker on my, on this drawer and I realized it says one goth point, which I think is hilarious. Um, I love to give out goth points ironically, so thanks for giving me one goth point, Gothic Beauty Magazine. <laughs>